Hello students, we have come to the end of the academic year's course, your annual course. <clears throat> For your annual course, you have three lessons and to begin with, we will start with your chapter 11, that is the solar system. Now, in, now about the solar system we are going to see, but before that we will see first thing about the satellite. In ancient days, people thought that the earth was the center of the universe and all heavenly bodies moved around it. Then, in the early 16th century, a Polish scientist, his name was Nicholas Copernicus, okay. He proved that the earth and the other planets actually go around the sun. That is, the earth was uh, not the center, okay, the sun, sun was the center. <clears throat> now, there are small heavenly bodies that move around the planets too and these are known as satellites. What are they? They are the satellites, those small heavenly bodies that move around planets they are known as the satellites now <coughs> we have the planets in the solar system right so these planets they also have certain number of uh, natural satellites like for example we see for mars mars how many satellites it has it has two satellites earth earth has one satellite jupiter jupiter has 50 satellites saturn Saturn has 53 satellites, Uranus has 27 satellites, Neptune has 13 satellites, Mercury and Venus, they do not have satellites. Okay, so this was about the <coughs> number of satellites uh, which the planets consist. Solar system, what is solar system? The sun, the planets and all the objects move around the planets are collectively called the solar system so what is solar system sun planets and all the heavenly bodies okay that moves around are known as the solar system now solar system is in the galaxy which is known as a milky way okay <clears throat> at night when we look at the sky we see tiny dots and these are stars and planets the twinkling ones are the stars and those that do not twinkle are just uh, sh uh, shine of the planets, okay? Those, those, uh, they do not twinkle and just shine, they are the planets. <clears throat> now, planets, they do not have their own light. They reflect the light from the sun. There are all total about eight planets in our solar system. And all planets fall into two groups, okay? That is the outer planets and the inner planets. The outer planets, what are the inner planets first? What are the inner planets? Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. And the outer planets, who, who are they? Uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. These are the outer planets. Now, the inner and outer planets, they are separated by a ring of small bodies. Okay, Th that is known as asteroid belt. Okay, outer and inner planets, they are separated by a ring. Mm, of small bodies that is known as the asteroid belts okay now inner planets they are also known as rocky planets and the outer planets they are very far away from the sun and because of that they are very cold and then they contain the frozen gases uh, each planets they move around the sun around a fixed orbit okay and uh, that uh, the movement of these planets around the sun is known as revolution. Now, we have how many planets? We have eight planets. What are, what are they? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. We will see uh, one by one about the planets. First is the Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet and it's closest to the sun. Venus venus is the hottest planet uh, its atmosphere is made up of carbon dioxide and it uh, is covered by clouds so it is known as veiled planet it reflects a lot of sunlight making it the brightest planet venus it reaches its maximum brightness shortly before sunrise or shortly after the sunset Th that's why it's known as the morning star or the Evening star. Venus is the hottest, hottest planet. Okay, you should know uh, about all these like special features I have given 
here about each planet please go through them properly okay earth earth is known as water planet why because due to the presence of water which is about 71 percent <coughs> is the largest of the four inner planets it is even called as blue planet because from space the oceans combined with the atmosphere uh, makes the planet look blue that's why it's known as even blue planet it is covered by a layer of air called atmosphere now what is atmosphere atmosphere is mixture of gases such as nitrogen oxygen and carbon dioxide and the atmosphere keeps the earth warm by trapping heat <clears throat> this is a special feature of earth mars mars is known as the red planet and it is named after the roman god of war okay the name mars was given uh, it has the largest dust storms in the solar system jupiter jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system and it rotates faster than any other planet in the solar system it has red spots which is the rotating storm system inside the planet Sec uh, saturn saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system it is classified as a gas giant planet saturn's rings <coughs> are made of many pieces of rocks and ice uranus uranus it's the only planet that rotates on its axis from east to west which direction from east to west it has at least 10 thin uniform black rings which are made of dust and it is very cold planet neptune it's known as the coldest planet in the solar system and it's the farthest planet moon moon in about moon we will see few characteristics is the earth's only satellite okay the moon is the on, uh, earth's uh, single satellite natural satellite and it's the brightest object in the night sky but it does not have its own light how it gets light it how it uh, shines it reflects light from the sun that's why we are able to see the lit moon okay there is no water no atmosphere therefore there is huge difference between day and night temperature now since it's close to the earth that's why it seems to us very big in size right the appearance of moon it seems very big in size to us since it's close to the earth it takes 28 days to revolve once around the earth and it also seems to change its shape every night. The shape of the moon we see from the earth depends on how much of it is lit up by the sun, the uh, uh, reflected light of the sun. That's the amount which we are able to see of the, uh, I mean we are able to see the size of the moon based on it. Next we will go to the last topic of the lesson that is movement of the earth. Now there are two types of movement that is rotation and revolution first we'll see what is rotation earth rotates or spins around an imaginary line called axis from west to east so what is rotation actually when it revolves on its axis that is known as rotation it takes 24 hours to complete one rotation and as the earth rotates one of the uh, one half of uh, that faces the sun it has daytime Whereas the other half that remains away from the sunlight has the night time. So it depends on the direction which faces the sun and which is away from the sun. So the one which faces the sun has the daytime. Whereas the other, the other side which is away from the sun uh, has the night time. And it is based on the rotation. Due to the rotation, the earth, uh, rotation causes day and night. Okay. Uh, and now revolution uh, due to revolution uh, seasons occur okay uh, the earth takes 365 days and six hours to complete one rev revolution that is 365 and one fourth days to complete one revolution the movement of earth around the sun that is known as revolution all right and revolution it causes seasons uh, it causes four seasons that is the summer winter autumn and spring 
the quarter days are added up every year to give us an extra day every fourth year. Thus, every fourth year has how many days? 366 days and it is called the leap year. Okay, that's how we get the leap year. The revolution of the earth around the sun, it causes season. The earth experiences a cycle of four seasons every year. What are they? Summer, autumn, winter and spring. The earth is tilted on its axis at an angle of 23.5 degrees. Very important. All right. It's tilted at an angle of 23.5 degree. While revolving, if the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun, then the southern hemisphere is tilted away. This tilt will result in the rays of the sun to fall on the northern hemisphere. Hence, it will experience summer season. At the same time, the southern hemisphere, which uh, is away, will experience the winter season. Now, after six months, it reverses, that is, um, the area which had the summer season will have winter season and the area which had the winter season will have summer season. But in between summer and winter season, Earth experiences two more seasons. What are they? Autumn and spring season, which are neither too, ho uh, too hot nor too cold. Okay, so this is about the season. Uh, uh, due to the movement of the earth, what are the two movements? So rotation and revolution. And rotation causes day and night, whereas revolution causes season. With this, we have come to the end of the chapter. I hope you will go through the chapter once again. Go through your book well. Alright, so that you will be able to solve your test papers. Thank you.